so. I'm not sure what the neck felt. Yeah. <laughs> It was a great college lacrosse game today. I think there was a lot of up and down. Uh, I thought Hopkins came out extremely well prepared, uh, put some goals up early, forced us to fight back uh, going in at halftime, and the game just continued the rest of the way. I thought they did some nice adjustments with their face-offs and their wings, and uh, I, my hat's off to them. I, I, both teams played for 60 minutes, and it's a great W for us uh, coming out of the Carrier Dome today. Oh yeah. Well, I think Bob played well. Uh, you know, they had uh, our worst fear was that we'd get a lot of penalties in the game because they have such great outside shooters. And uh, with the two standings behind and you know, number 99 in the crease, uh, you just don't want to get in the penalty box with them. And you know, we had the two minute at the end, and uh, unfortunately the man down got a stop after after a goal, and we were able to kill that that penalty. But, uh, you know, I thought he uh, played well, and I thought he saw the ball well, especially going down the stretch. Kind of a, a weird game. Obviously, there's lots of runs, 5-2, and tied up. Is that, is that just, you know, number one, is that just kind of you expect every team to, uh, to have life for 60 minutes against you? Yeah, you know, I told uh, – when the guys during the week, they said, you know, the only time we really care about being number one is at the end of the year. But one of the things you do get by being number one is everybody's best game coming in. So if you can, uh, you know, if you can play with our rankings and and uh, play a team like Hopkins and, and they came in ready to play, if you can if you can come out with a W, it makes you a better team. So I, I feel good about that. Bobby, would you agree with your coach's assessment? You know. A bit of a slow start, but of course, at the end there, a couple of big saves. How do you think you played up to those in the fourth quarter and then the last few minutes? I mean, uh, you know, obviously struggled a little early on. Um, you know, thankfully the offense and the defense played really, really well and, you know, limited the shots. Um, and, you know, they got them, the defense really got in their hands and made them miss the cage a lot. And, you know, offense was able to put up goals and uh, really helped me out. So, um, and then towards the end of the game, I was seeing the ball a little bit better. That's a goal, yeah, I'm sure, you know, it's never over until. That last save, right? I mean, the first 10 shots go in, you make 11 saves, and that mentality after that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you always got to think about just getting the next one. Did you take it to the uh, goal of the save, but didn't pass great? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, just got dodged from behind the crease, uh, passed it up top, and uh, turned around. There was a shot and hit my stick and bounced right out to uh, Messina, and then he was just able to take off down the field and get a fast break. Randy, how big was it both when the game was tied at 8 and again at 10? When, when they seemed like they were going to come back to you guys to get that next goal to kind of stave it off a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it was crucial for us to get that next goal there. I think the offense clicked pretty well, finding that open guy on the backside there. Um, the, the one more pass was open there um, pretty much all game, and we did a good job on finding that. And I think uh, by us getting that goal, it just gave us more confidence. And, um, Brady, to what team attribute the look of the slow start and then the comeback from Hopkins to I mean, I think it was just a little feel, uh, getting the feel for their defense a little more. And uh, like I said, finding the guy in the backside, I think that was there. And uh, I think our team did a really well, really good job on um, moving the ball one more, like I said. So uh, I think that played a big part in it today. Henry, was there ever a point where you guys kind of felt comfortable with where you had the game maybe when you put it at 12-10? Um, I mean, with a team like Hopkins, you never know. They have such great talent. Like Coach said, they have such great outside shooters, so they can come back any time. So we're definitely on the edge of our seat and still playing as hard as we can. There's no comfort level. Mm -hmm. And I guess for you individually, what was kind of working more? I mean, uh, maybe not as good of an offensive start to the season as you would have liked individually, but obviously a couple goals today for you. Um, I think it was just teammates that just moving the ball well and the offense was starting to get in rhythm. And a lot of times the slide comes and then we pass to the backside and I'd be wide open to dodge the guy or either shoot and a couple of chances and goals. So the offense was getting the flow. So that's the reason that I think I had a couple of goals. John, we've talked about this obviously several times over the last couple of years, but when you look at the depth of your team, you know, Henry, He's had some quiet games this year, but now he, I think he ignited that, that the one run with the outside shot that just snuck inside the post. And then he, 
he scores the other driving goal going inside to give you the two goal lead. And then you have him running out the clock at the end, too, as a, as a reward, I guess, for all that. But I mean, in terms of that, just, is that just another example of how balanced you guys are? You know, we're fortunate that players have stepped up for us game to game. You know, somebody will have a good game, and somebody else will have a, a game, you know, the following week. And uh, these guys are all, you know, pretty experienced. You know, that whole first midfield are all seniors, and two of the attack men are seniors. So they've seen a lot of lacrosse. They've seen different types of games, and uh, they know what to do uh, in tight games like this. So you know, it's great that he, he stepped up and made those shots today. He's been right on the edge, and, and uh, unfortunately they dropped today for us. Henry, could you talk a little bit about, I'm not sure what they were doing defensively. I, I, the, in the beginning of the game, it looked like they had five guys standing on the crease and basically on the wall. I've never seen any defense sack that much. But then it looked like they started to come out really aggressively, and they would have, but they had a hole ready as soon as whatever, whichever midfielder had drew the shorty and dodged past them, they were like sagging a pole behind them. Is that something you had seen before? Well, I think a lot of times they were switching from man to zone a lot, and I think they'd switch it up on a couple of times because they didn't know what, quite what to do because I think we worked the ball well, and they'd switch it up, so that might be a little confusion for them. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know exactly the five-man in the crease, but, yeah, I think it might just be that they're switching. I think it was their game plan coming in. They've showed zone this year. So the really sagging stuff was – that you saw was probably the zone defense. And yeah. a nice job of changing it up, and I think uh, these guys did a good job recognizing <laughs> it and running the zone offense and the man offense, depending on the type of defense that we saw. You, you outscored them, I think, 11-5 to 5 from the start of the second quarter, but it never really felt like it. No. I mean, it really didn't, it felt like a game that was, at any minute, one team or the other was going to go on a two- or three-goal run, and that was going to end have that feeling from the sideline? Yeah, oh yes. And I think, you know, I don't know if we touched the ball until about 11 minutes maybe. And then I think we had a, uh, I can't remember if we scored right away or they, uh, we had a quick turnover and they went the other way. So some of that was lack of possession time in, in the first quarter and they were running their, their stuff well. Uh, and they were well coached and uh, we were trying to confuse our defense with their some of their offensive plays. And uh, like I said, they came ready to play. Randy, what do you guys say to each other during that first time out? I know the second straight game where you guys fell behind early, but what does it say about the team that you, you can pull ahead against St. John's, but then against maybe a better team like Hopkins again? Uh, you know, just stick with the offense. Stick with what Coach Desco and Coach Donnie tell us to do. You know, just stick with it and keep shooting, make smart decisions, and um, just play lacrosse, really, and just keep stick with it is pretty much the biggest thing to it, you know, because you can't, can't really um, uh, push the tempo much or, much or just keep it calm. Bobby, you talked about, I guess, seeing the ball better. You know, what are they doing? Are they doing anything differently in the second half or doing something differently in the first half where you're not seeing them as well? Oh, uh, you know, they just have really good shooters. And we knew that coming into the week that they definitely had guys who could shoot the ball. And, um, you know, I I just had to kind of get into a rhythm there. And uh, it took a little bit. And uh, towards the fourth quarter, I think, I kind of got into more of a rhythm and was able to make some stops. Bobby, pressure. I mean, Coach talked about exactly all about being number one. Again, you're getting every team's best shot early, middle and late of the game. How do you approach it? You know, I mean, uh, you just got to come to practice ready to work every day. And um, I think that we definitely did that this week, and we need to continue that. You know, being number one, you're going to get everyone's best game. And uh, we just need to come ready to play, and we need to, you know, never let up and just work hard all week in practice. Final question for Sarah. Coach, you mentioned you uh, wanted to avoid going man down because you're outside shooters. What did your man down do well today? In the well, you know, we didn't get many, uh, they didn't get many opportunities in the first half. And I think they understood, you know, uh, their offensive coordinator does a nice job of mixing their man ups up. But uh, you always, you have to know where their shooters are. You know, number seven is usually the lefty shooter. Number four is up top or the righty shooter. And the Stanwicks do a great job of finding those guys. And they're really... Uh, uh, you know, they're really slick in there. They'll fake a pass one way and throw it another way. And I think our guys watched a lot of film and did a good job understanding uh, where the shooters were. Got to them late uh, a couple times, but uh, all in all, did a nice job. Got a nice stop on the last one. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.